light of wavelength lambda from two coherent sources s1 and s2 they interfere on a screen we can see that over here between these waves there is a constant phase difference delta phi which is pi by 4 and let delta denote the part difference s2q minus s1q which of the following values of delta lead to destructive interference at q so we need to choose two answers out of these four as always pause the video and give this one a try first all right now let's try to understand what's happening here we can see these two sources s1 and s2 they're interfering on different points of the screen and uh, delta is the part difference s2q minus s1q we need to figure out what values of delta lead to destructive interference. First, we can try and recall what led to destructive interference in the first place. When the crest of one wave interferes with the trough of another wave, that led to destructive interference, right? We can see that the values, the options are in forms of lambda. So first, let's try to change pi by 4 in terms of lambda. So when we do that, this will be lambda by 2 pi into pi by 4 this becomes lambda by 8. So the part difference between these two waves in terms of wavelength is lambda by 8. And we can try and represent this in the form of a diagram. So for that, let me hide this. We can we can show we can represent it in this manner. So you can see s2 is ahead of s1 by lambda by 8. And for destructive interference, the crest, let's say the crest of s1, it should interfere with the trough of s2. We know that this is lambda by 2, the distance between the crest and the trough of one wave. This right here is lambda by 2. This we just calculated is lambda by 8. So the distance of the crest of S1 to the trough of S2 is 5 lambda by 8. So this is one value of delta, which will lead to destructive interference. But then we can generalize it. We can see that in general, the distance between the crest of S1 to the trough of S2 would just be n lambda plus 5 lambda by 8 and we can replace different values of n to get different values of delta so one value we already got 5 lambda by 8 that's right here if we put n equals to 0 we will get we will get delta is 5 lambda by 8 but let's put different values let's say if we put n equals to 1 we will then get 13 lambda by 8 similarly if we put n equals to minus 1 if we put n equals to minus 1 we will get and on, on solving this minus lambda plus 5 lambda by 8, this will be minus 3 lambda by 8. Now let's have a look at the options. The options are, well, there is a 5 lambda by 8. There is a 5 lambda by 8 and there is a minus 3 lambda by 8. So C and D are the correct options here. 